You have no idea what you've just clicked on. <laughs> I don't laugh like that in real life. Anyways, it's happening! It's happening! struck three and so now we should start off our mischievous activities with something everyone does at 3 a.m right square comb the hair oh god that was so cold make sure you comb your hair long enough for the coconut oils to release into your hair then it's time to get to work follow me young one on a better path the neighbor's dog has been a bad boy I didn't- I didn't mean that. It's finally time to get to landscaping. This one's too long. Snip. This one's too long. Snip. Oh, these are way too long. I don't do it. I do snip you. It's, it's snipped. Everyone else probably mows their lawn in the day, but I love doing mine at 3 a.m. to catch the grass off guard. God, I feel like there's somebody watching me. It's food time! After a long minute of work. I pray for all the souls I just conquered. We shall offer this and slice of the bread as a sacrifice. It's time for the show. <laughs> the performance. Are you ready for the performance, Philip? Oh, he's waiting. He's in his seat. And, and it's time for my performance of Beethoven from Piano, of which he played while he was deaf. They not like us. They not like us. And they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Was that an enjoyable young fellow? Did you enjoy that? Did you smile? It's time for a game of Spot the Thomas. I, I actually feel like there's some something here. Rhythmic gymnastics. This is an art many of you won't appreciate, but you have no idea how much dedication and thought goes into these moves. And as I was performing, my suspicions were soon proven correct. Sorry, that was a that was a tad. Who are who are you? Were you the person that was watching me this whole time? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What is your name? Alfonso. I knew somebody was watching me from the shadows, but I didn't expect him to be such a lovely guy. Me and Alfonso played cards together. Alfonso, do you have any tens? Oh my. Alfonso, you're so stupid and dumb. You did a mini basketball dunk contest. <laughs> Clipped each other's toenails. Don't move, Alfonso. Just need to get this little bit of toenail. And talked about Derek White, who is the sponsor of this video. Derek White is one of the greatest humans of all time. No, he did not pay me to make this segment. Just look at him. Hey, Derek. He's such a great guy. He just won a basketball championship and a gold medal in the Olympics, too. Keep it up, Derek White. And at last, me and Alfonso played Truth or Dare. 
and he picked truth. Okay. Um, have you ever thrown it back for the gang? A simple question at first, but it led Alfonso to tell me his entire backstory which started all the way back at his hometown. Alfonso grew up in Missouri and was forced into the family tortilla chip business from birth. His only dream in life was to have a real friend but he never had any outside interaction. When he grew older, he ran away from the factory and he was picked up by a gang. People who he thought were his friends. They made him feel accepted and that's all Alfonso wanted. But they made him do unspeakable things. And after a while, he ran away from the gang, living as a vagabond in the forest, searching for a true friend. Anyways, we decide to end off our night with one more activity. All right, me and Alfonso are gonna do one last challenge, and it's going to be for three dollars. Can you believe it? So it's a potato sack race, but you also have to hold an egg on the spoon and you can't let it drop. But I don't have any eggs, so instead of eggs, we're gonna use nothing. Okay, buddy, you ready? First to the wall, wings. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's how you went off on, though. You can beat me in- you have- you have better toenails than me, but- you, you can, oh! <gasps> oh, Alfonso, he took- took the money, he took it, took the money, he's gone, he ran away, he shot me in the leg, after I went to bed, he just wanted me for the- for the money. <laughs> That's all I had. I only had three dollars. I know where to find him. I know where to find him. Alfonso? What? What's going on? You wrote a note to me. And you left one eighth of a bag of the three dollar chips. He's not here. Thomas, throughout all of my life, I have dreamt of having a real friend. I was a hopeless soul until I found you filming a video so late at night. Even though I broke into your house and shot you in the leg, you showed me what it was like to have a real friend. You showed me what it was like to have fun, and I could never thank you enough for that. If you are reading this now, I'm in a better place. Well, not really, I'll be back in Missouri, returning to my family and the tortilla chip business. I've left a bag of my family's tortilla chips, which I've eaten from, just so we can share something together one last time. And I want you to know that you made my dream a reality, and I will never forget that. And I hope you don't either. But sometimes we wake up, and our dreams slip our memories forever lost in the depths of our minds. Derek White wants you to subscribe. He, ju he just told me that. Ooh, yeah, also, he told me to click on that video, too. He, he did. I, he, I'm not 